Alright, your name is? I'm Mary Jason. Great. And how old are you? I'm 20 years old. 20. And um, I heard that this is your second time to appeal to the city. So, how did you experience your experience? Well, it is my privilege to be here in stage okay. again. And I am thankful because of the supporters who believed in me. Okay, so since second time na Minimo to be here and to join this competition, do you feel any pressure of joining again? Yes, sir, of course. And I handle pressure by controlling what I can control. Because if I will be trying to be effective of the pressure, I cannot I cannot be here as one of the official candidates of Motya ng Masipid. And I am here not just to compete but also to win the crown. Thank you. Oh, you guys. There you go. Round of applause, please, for candidate number one, Mary of Aklan. description about yourself, who you are, your age, your courts, maybe? Um, I'm Teresa Maya Pawan, 21, and I'm in my fourth year of college taking a Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management at St. Michael College of Caracas. Yes, Hospitality Management. So, given your course, if you were to choose the location of your business, where do you plan on putting it up and why? As a hospitality management student myself, I learned that the... Okay, so as a man ka gusto put up sa business? Asa ni mo As a hospitality management student myself, I learned that the industry I chose to be part of is one of the biggest contributor of our national economy. And if given, if God permits me to build my own hotel and restaurant, definitely I would choose Philippines, specifically here in Nasipit. Because as a born and raised Nasipit non, I see our town keeps on developing over the years. And uh, our barangay, our, our local officials, especially headed by our very own mayor, Mayor Rosco Democrito B. Plaza and uh, other investors, we could achieve those big wins and a proud Nasipit non, it would be an honor to be part of those success. Mag Maglipay, magdasig Nasipit. Alright, so yes, we are looking this bit, no, Shana, at the future of the year from Nasipit. Alright, so let's uh, continue with candidate number three. So, what are your other uh, hobbies or mo pagit na imong gusto ang cooking and baking? Yes, sir. I like making desserts. You like making desserts. Now, ako pamatana. Kung imo compare ang imo hang self to a dessert, what dessert would it be and why? Well, for me, since I am really fond of chocolate, for me, I am a chocolate cake. A chocolate cake consists of dark chocolates and also it it has sugar. For me, in life, dark chocolates represents the bitterness and the hardships in life, while the other sugar contents represents the sweetness that oh my God. the sweet <laughs> the sweetness that contradicts the bitterness of the dark chocolate. Thank you. 
Wow, we have a well-balanced personality, you know? Yes, thank you. Oh, I like that. Thank you very much, number three. Let's move on to candidate number four. Yes, candidate number four. Good evening. Okay, Good evening. Ulan. So, can you tell me a little about yourself? I'm Eunice K. Salotis, 21, from Kamagong. And my dream job is being a flight attendant. Wow, what a great dream job, flight attendant. So, here's my question. If you were to fly anywhere in the world, aha mata gusto mo at to, ugnano? Of course, Paris. Oh. Well, I would love to see the Eiffel Tower. Very romantic. Yes. And what else? Why? Why? Why Paris? Because Paris is a dream come true. Thank you. <laughs> Paris is a dream come true. Why not? Thank you very much to our candidate number four. Let's move on to candidate number five from Kubi Kubi. Good evening, candidate number five from Kubi Kubi. Uh, can you tell us something about yourself? What's your nickname? Okay, some of my friends call me Bijay, which is layo kaayo sa akong real name. Kaya akong real name is Samantha, and I don't know why they call me Bijay, but it's cute, right? Really so, cute. Very cute indeed. So, what's up, mate? Would you like to call you Bijay tonight or Samantha? Samantha, I prefer Sam na lang, for sure. Sam. Oh, diba? Very meanly po ng Sam. So, Sam. Um, have you joined mga pageants before? I joined locally lang sa among barangay before like 2019. Yes. And this is your second or kapila na nga pageant? I think this is my fourth time joining the pageant. And then I think I am so overwhelmed. And at the same time, I am excited and nervous to join this pageant because this is my, this is the first time I am joining this kind of pageant. Kay sa barangay namo, dili kay pumakitan kay Shimfre. Matapagod sa wala. But why do you like? What do you like most in joining pageants? Kaya naka try naka before and you're trying it again now. What do you like about pageants? Since I was young, I have always dreamed of being a beauty queen, being named as a beauty queen. And so, given this opportunity right now, ngon ako ang kapitana nga. Sige sang ikaw ang kaon nga pageant uh, kandidata. And then, wala since this is my dream, wala gi ko nidili. Okay, I think this is an opportunity for me to let my to let my um shine, you know, kana makita ang akong kahayag. Thank you very much. There you go from Kubi Kubi, si Sam or Vijay. And she's shining tonight. Let's move on to candidate number six. Um, I'm Alinger Gonzalez Opa, 20, representing Barangay Tulit. Yes. So, I heard na you're studying in elementary education. Yes, you want to teach education, sorry. So, if there is one value that you would like to teach to the young children, what would it be and why? The one value that I could teach children is that to be polite because as I observe uh, our children nowadays is they not, they not, uh, some of the children I uh, rather is they don't know how to uh, use, uh, use uh, polite expression and according to Dr. Jose Rizal, ang, 
ang kabataan ay pag-asa ng bayan, then how can our kabataan ay pag-asa ng bayan if saying sorry, please, and thank you, di nila mabuhat. Tama sa, di ba? So, we are looking at a future educator right here. Congratulations and thank you to our candidate number six. Okay, now let's move on to our seventh candidate. Good evening, candidate number seven. Kumusta? Good evening. Feeling nervous. Feeling nervous but kaya. Ano pa sila? Laban lang. Okay, so um, what's your nickname? Ano sa'yo kaginatawag si mong friends or sa inyong family? Ara. Ara, okay. So Ara, um, what's the name of course now sa college? Are you in college? Yes, I'm taking criminology. Criminology. So you are going to become a future police officer or criminologist. Now, let me ask you, can someone inspire Saimu to take up criminology? My father inspires me to pursue his dream profession, which is to become a policeman. Your dad, so your papa is a policeman or? No. Ah, so ikaw ang mupadayan sa dream. Okay, so aren't you afraid na this is actually a very dangerous job? I want to serve our country and protect because this is all, this is our job as a criminologist. Although I'm afraid when it comes to physical activities, but I want to face my first and challenge and taste and test my capabilities. Wow! Face your fear. Grabe, no? Pwede, pwede. All right. Very Thank courageous. you very much. Very courageous indeed. Thank you very much, Ara, and see you later. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. So, can you tell me a little about yourself, your hobbies? I am Bea Bejarine, 18 years old, and I am very passionate when it comes in my field in dancing and performing in front of the crowd. Thank you. A dancer, a performer right here in front of us. So, since you're a dancer, what values do you get from being a dancer? Dancing is the other half of me, aside from the experience. I've also gained the value of being more determined in my field, despite of being neglected because of having a dark skin. And I can really say that dance is not just a dance. This craft served for me as a cure, a field, and a life. Thank you. Dancing with purpose, with a purpose. Thank you very much. Now let's move on to our next candidate. Number nine. Number nine from Poblacion Uno. Good evening. Kumusta? Good evening. How, how are you? I'm good. All right. So, are you still in, are you still in college now or in a now? Yes, I'm still studying. Oh, uh, what course in year? Um, business administration fourth year. Good. So you graduate na ka in a few months. Congratulations in advance. Now, why um, this course ang imugi kuha for college? Because I'm interested in banking. I'm good at much in much at ambitious, highly ambitious, and I enjoyed my. So you like banking, and so gusto ka mo ba? No, that's a very noble profession for very good ka ayon na ka stressful. But if given a chance, ganahan mo ba mag business? Yes, I want to have my own beauty products and skincare. That's all. Wow, so siya pala ang tagiya, siya po ang model, tanawa ang skin sa atong candidate. Congratulations and thank you, candidate number nine, Poblacion Uno. Future businesswoman from Nasipin. Let's call in candidate number 10. Mayang gabi, 
candidate number 10. Kumusta man ka? Okay ra ko. Like I'm grateful to be here tonight. So, can you describe something about yourself? I heard you are a middle child. Yes, I am a middle child in our family. Mm, interesting. Yes, so do you believe in the middle child syndrome? Yes, maybe that's kind of true because we pay more attention in younger and older siblings. But it's kind of okay for me because I am an understanding person. And, you know, it's just that the advantage is that my personality can be mature and childish at the same time. Oh, mature and childish at the same time. Alright, so there you go. Congratulations and thank you and see you later. Alright. A middle child. No, panalag sa ang pan middle child kano. Ah, bato mo and but we have someone who's very blind, understanding, and also a well balanced personality. Let's move on to your number eleven. Hi, number eleven. How are you? I feel great and excited for you get to know me. Yes, we are really also excited to get to know you as well. So, um, how do you want us to call you? What's your nickname? My nickname is Kikai, but you can call me Cheryl. Okay, I, I, I'd also prefer Cheryl. Okay, Cheryl! So we've heard no, from our previous interview that um, you worked in Manila, and then you just came home to join this pageant. Why did you choose to come home and become part of Mutiak ng Nasipin? As you know, growing up, I've always dreamed to be a beauty queen. Throughout my life, I've learned to embrace myself, even my imperfections, and to be confident about it. So right now, I want to set as an example to everyone, especially to the young girls today, to be confident with themselves, to be comfortable with their own skin, and to push themselves to become the best version they can be. A very confident person. A very confident person. Why didn't any more spokesperson for who? And congratulations and thank you. And see you in a little while. There, Cheryl. We have Cheryl from Poblacion Tres. Now we would like to get to know candidate number 12. Good evening, candidate number 12. So is it your first time joining? Oh, it's not. Mm. So, ikapila na din ni mo. Two times. Two times. Your second. So, how was your experience in joining Beauty Magic? Two times. I experienced joining pageants in our Interporok and now. This is your second time, so from Interporo to now. So, kumusta man ang experience? Um, it's definitely fine, and I, 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 So you discovered a lot about yourself. So, ang sa may mga discover alam. Yes, ang sa may mga discover no pag join ni mo karon o before. Um, I discover a lot of things and making friends with the candidates and I think this is the best, the best candidate I, I encountered. Wow, yes. so this is the best pageant that you've ever joined. joined. Wow, yes. good luck to you and we look forward to seeing you in more pageants in the future, no? Para mas ma-develop ang atong skills. There you go, thank, thank you very you. much. That's our candidate number 12. Now let's go to, let's get to me, number 13. Good evening, number 13. Good evening. Ayan, so your name is? Jella Rose Hamin Baguhin. Jelly Rose. So would you like us to call you Jelly or Rose? How many mong must prefer? Baby. Joe. Baby. <laughs> Okay, baby. Sige na ng daddy niya na eh, baby. Just kidding. So, jelly or baby? <laughs> Tinutun ako na. O so man? Jelly. Jelly. Okay, so jelly. Um, is this your first time joining a, the pageant or no? No, actually it is my second time joining Mutya Nagasipi. Oh, another comeback, com comeback yes. queen. So, 
you're here for the second time. Now, um, and how old are you, by the way? I am 22 years old. 22 years old, and this is your second time joining. Yeah. Do you think it's an advantage no, to be um, a more experienced in terms of age and also of um, uh, joining a pageant? Actually, it depends on the situation. But in my experience, joining this pageant is an advantage when it comes to relating and inspiring my fellow youth. So join with Yan and Asifit in 2023. Oh, wow, another invitation for next year. So all the young ladies out there, but practice na mo. Kasi na ako yung mentor from Jelly. All right, so thank you, Jelly. Thank you very much. All right. That's Kenny number 13, a very wonderful personality. Now let's move on to Kenny number, number 14. Number 14. Good evening, Miss. So, can you tell me about your hobbies or your interests? My hobbies is I I actually um, uh, my hobbies are, are listening to music, and, uh, especially when it when it has uh, especially when I understand the deep meaning of it of every lyrics of it. Wow, wow, that's great. So if you could share a title of a song that nakarelate ka karon, like um, everything that's happening right now, can you share to me a title of a song and maybe parts of the lyrics about it? Um, the title of the song that would that would this uh, that would this describe my life at, at this moment is the song Masterpiece by GCJ. Um, it has these two lines that really describe myself and my life at this moment. And at this moment, uh, like, um, you haven't seen the best of me and I'm still working on my masterpiece. So, these lines address, address brushing off the negativity in my life and just working on, on just, and just working on toward who I want to become and and I thank you. Wow, we have a masterpiece. Thank you, candidate number 14. Now let's move on to candidate number 15. So, Murag, taas ka ayo ka no? For, uh, how old are you again? 16. For a uh, 16 year old, 16 you're very old. tall. So, pila man, pila man, what's up, man, yung height? I think 5'6. Five, 5'6 six. Five, six at 16 years old. So, basin mapariyan na ni Lisbeth na mas mo taas pag yud, no? In the future. So, um, do you think advantage, um, yung height and also being tall, no? Yes. Not just a pageant, but kanang in life. Yes, because height is definitely one of the qualities of Yes, because height is one of the qualities that are that appreciated and seek in beauty queens. With all being said, I will use this advantage to serve as an instrument to influence others to believe in themselves. Thank you. Thank you wow, very much. Very statuesque candidate right over here. Thank you very much, number 15. We are now down to our last two candidates. That's a quick interview. And now we are seeing candidate number 16 approaching us here on stage. Yes, good evening, candidate number 16. Good evening, ma'am, and good evening, everyone. Yes, so is it your first time joining or have you joined before? Well, this is my third time joining a beauty pageant. So, it's your third. So, there's always differences between each pageant, diba? So, unsa may kalahian ani na pageants compared to the others that you've joined in before? 
Well, this beauty pageant is different from all the beauty pageants that I've joined because this is the first time I joined in my own hometown. And I believe that this is an opportunity for me to represent my municipality and to develop my advocacy and to be the voice of all Nasipitnot. Thank you. Thank you also to our candidate from Talisa in number 16. And now we are down to our last but definitely not the least candidate number 17 from Triangulo. Maayong Gabi. Your name is very unique. Your name is Duby, right? Yes. Who can say that name is Duby? Actually, my mom and dad were, uh, they were really fans of the stars and they named me after a star. That is why I'm named after Doobie. Very unique name. Now, I also heard one thing. You applied or you screened for Mutyaan ng Nasipit as a makeup artist. Yes, that is true. It was never really my intention to join as a candidate because I was actually screening as a makeup artist. And actually, I, I was actually one of the 10 uh, official makeup artists, but instead... You became yes, a candidate. Became a candidate. <laughs> wow, from makeup artist to candidate. And, um, but aside from makeup, no, on sa may imuhang healing, I heard you're also a mascom student. Yes, I'm a mascom student and I also love to sing. I am a vocalist also. We get hired by gigs and, you know, for gigs on birthdays and even weddings. Okay, so being a journalist, because I'm very interested in that, kind of, um, if you can interview one person, no, who would you like to interview and why? Oh, that's a good question. It would be Nadine because I love her style and I love her confidence. Nadine Samonte, a person Nadine Lustre. Nadine Lustre. Let's just talk about Nadine. Let's talk about Nadine. Let's talk about Nadine. Okay, so Nadine Lustre. Okay, so Nadine Lustre because of her personality and her style. So I believe you also got her aura and her vibe. So there you go. And thank you and see you later. Thank you so much. Candidate number 17. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I believe our ladies did a very good job. Thank you, ladies, for a job well done. Yes, and indeed the ladies.